Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these DIY Grinch tile ornaments. They took me under 20 minutes to create from start to finish, and I love how they turned out, and you won't believe how easy they are, these are to create. So stay tuned to see how to create your own Grinch ornaments. So unfortunately, this is the third time I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Uh, my camera is not was not working and it did in slow-mo. So here's what they look like. The tiles that I'm going to be spray painting after they're done spray painted, this is what they look like. Um, I used this spray paint. It's called Fusion uh, Gloss Jungle Green. I bought it off of Amazon um, and it matches the Grinch color exactly. So it looks just like this. It turned out amazing. And here are the tiles that I use. I used some off of here already, but I wanted to show you what the backing and stuff look like. It has the backing on like this. So all I do is just peel it off. All of it. You just peel it off and it comes off really easy. And then this is the back. Uh, for these ones, I'm actually going to just spray paint the back of them. Um, I'm not going to do anything special with them, so I'm not worried about the back, but I'm, I'm going to do the front. And the first thing you want to do is actually clean it with some alcohol. Um, so I'm just going to take a piece, piece of paper towel and clean it. But i got to tell you something that I just learned. You guys may or may not know this. But this uh, alcohol, I always get either this kind or 92%. Um, 92% is more for at home if the kids get hurt or something. I just get the cheap stuff from uh, the dollar store. But I just learned that the higher the percentage of the alcohol count in it, the quicker it dries. I never knew that. So if I have 70% like this, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. So just a quick note. <laughs> I thought I'd share that if you guys didn't know that. It was just kind of a, kind of a neat tip that I learned. So I'm just taking, I'm trying not to touch it. So I'm just gonna take another piece of paper towel and hold it there. I'm trying, once I clean it, I don't wanna put any finger marks or anything on it, so I'm just trying to hold it still. And I'm not worried about the back, I just wanna worry about the front. So I'm just gonna take my other piece of paper towel and then just dry it really quick. Or if you get the other one that's 92 or so percent, you could just, it'll dry really quick. So I'm just wiping all that stuff off to make sure it's dry to the touch. And this is just the easy part. You just want to take your spray paint. Shake it really well. Make sure you're on an outside area or somewhere with windows that you don't smell this. I'm just in my garage, so I'm just going to give it a really good spray. And that's basically it. So I'm going to let this dry, just like I let these ones dry. And then you're going to have to go around and do the edges. See, like the edges here are not done very well. And then just spray paint the back. So once your tile dries completely, you can pick it up and spray paint it. But I was just gonna go ahead and spray paint the sides of these and then the back as well. But as these dry, I'm gonna go show you guys how to make the decals next. All right, these decals are so easy to make. So the Grinch face here, I actually bought it from Etsy and it comes in two parts as you can see here. So it will cut out the whole face, the black part, and then it will cut out the yellow eyes. So it makes it so easy. It's like the easiest decal you can make. And then this ornament is the exact size of my ornaments that I bought from Home Depot. I actually bought this um, image from Etsy as well. I'll leave the links below if I can find them, but if you find any Etsy store, you will find these. You just need to make sure that you purchase the exact size of your uh, ornament um, because some of them come from Home Depot, some of them come from Lowe's, and believe it or not, they're different sizes. Um, some of them have like a triangle part here rather than flat so you need to make sure that you purchase the one that fits the ornament size that you have so basically the only thing you have to do here is this you don't want to touch this because this is the exact size of the ornament so the only thing you need to do is shrink the Grinch's face and put him inside of the ornament piece here and I'm just trying to get it as large as I can get him to fit in here looking okay so, well, let me grab it there. So, whoops. All right, it's not letting me grab it, so I gotta do it this way. So I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit more and put them back in here and see. I wanna get the most out of it that I can, but 
my uh, ornament piece has a little edge to it here so I'm trying to go around that I don't hit that edge part so I love how this is so like I said this can't be any easier so I'm actually gonna get rid of this piece here and I'm gonna select both pieces here and I'm gonna duplicate it just a couple of times because I'm making more than one so I'm just gonna go to make it and then it's gonna give me two different colored mats here so here's all the faces that I have I like to move them over just a little bit that I can get my scissors in between each piece here and then here are the eyes and I do the same thing just move them over slightly that I can get the scissors in between without wasting a lot of vinyl so I'm just gonna go to continue wait for my Cricut machine to connect and then when I'm using uh, vinyl I always use this stencil vinyl here I just found it through browsing the materials and I found this one I don't buy a lot of Cricut vinyl I always just buy whatever's on sale so this one always seems to work for me so I'm gonna click on stencil vinyl and then I always go to more and I don't know if it's because my blade is getting um, dull or if it just cuts better but that's just what I do for the pressure is just add a little bit more so I'm gonna cut this out really quick I'll wait it out and then once my ornament pieces are dry I will show you those and then show you how to put them together all right guys so I finished and these are all dry to the touch and I really love how it turned out I love the color on it um, here's the back side I just spray painted it um, I'm not gonna do anything else with this you can put like I cut out these from a previous video that I did if you go back and look at that last video I showed you how to do other Christmas ornaments like this this is just a piece of felt with a sticky backing on it and I bought it from Amazon and I absolutely love it because you don't have to glue anything so that's just sticky but I'm not gonna put red with green although that goes together I'm just gonna leave it the way it is like this but you can put cardstock on the back you can spray paint it a different color you can put felt on it, whatever. The possibilities are really endless with it, but this is how they turned out. I love it. And then here are my little cutouts, my little decals. So these are so simple. All you gotta do is just put the eyes on. So I have a piece of transfer tape here I already cut out. And I just bought this transfer tape from the dollar store. If I'm doing a little project like this, I'm not gonna pull out my expensive transfer tape, so that's why I'm just using this. So I'm just gonna take it and put it over the eyes. Take my little squeegee. And then just pull it up and then just match your eyes up and I should have done the eyes down a little bit further because now I'm gonna have to pull the transfer tape up and I'll show you why in a second so I'm just putting the eyes right on I'm just gonna use my thumbs because I don't want to get the black part on it now I have to take the transfer tape off and this is why I said because if I would have went up higher I could have just done the whole image itself so I'm just gonna take my squeegee go over my image really well. Again, I like to work backwards to make sure everything comes off. Oops, this guy doesn't want to come off. And then just take your tile and then just do it in the center as well as possible, as best as you can. I don't know why, but I have a little piece of tape or something here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not bothering the image itself. Then take your squeegee and just squeegee it on. And this is why, again, I love this. I talked about this in a previous video and I really love these. Um, this one came with this vinyl piece over it, so it, it doesn't like rub anything hard. And this one I just took I took this piece and put it on here for the bigger one, but I bought both of these squeegees off of Amazon and I absolutely love them. I don't buy a lot of Cricut brands, so these work amazing, especially for this if you don't want to like put a hole in it or scratch your tile, you can just use this. I'll leave the link below to these if you're interested in them. And then you just peel back your transfer tape and you have this awesome, awesome Grinch guy left. See how simple that was? It was so easy to make. So to finish this off, I have these little hooks and I'm not really sure what they're called but I bought them off of Amazon. And you just hot glue them to the back like this so that you can have something to hang on it. Just like that, see? So I just have a little bit of hot glue here. Just gonna put a little dab in the back. And just hold the piece there for just a couple seconds to make sure the glue sticks really well. And you have to have really, really good glue. Maybe you could use like the E6300 and then the hot glue. That might work better. I'm kind of worried that the, 
the tile's not going to hold on that piece, so maybe I'll have to go to the store and get some of the E6300, I think it's called, but I'm not sure if the hot glue will be enough. So if you're going to do this, maybe grab some E6300 plus your hot glue gun, but here's how it turned out. Isn't that cute? And I also bought some boa maybe to do something with it. I'm not really sure. Maybe I can take it and put it in between here. I'm not sure if I can get that in there. But this little guy comes in really handy because now you can put stuff through it. Like I have some string here that I might put through it and just kind of make a bow at the end. Um, I'm not really sure yet. And I have this stuff too. It's just another kind of string I got from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. Um, so that's it guys. That was so simple. So possibilities are endless. This guy is really cute. I love how these turn out. I'm just going to finish putting something at the top, finish the rest of these up, and then I'll show you what they look like in the end. I love Christmas time and I love creating handmade items to give out as Christmas gifts. Who doesn't love the Grinch? I hope you enjoyed this DIY Grinch tile ornament video and will go and create your own Grinch ornaments. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Happy crafting and happy holidays everyone!